Hello, it's Maria here and thank you for joining me today on my YouTube channel, Artist Maria Burke. You can also get me on WordPress with the same artistmariaburke.wordpress.com. And today I've decided because it is such a gorgeous day uh, and as we go out walking, the scenery is beautiful, the flowers are out, the cherry blossoms are coming out, everything is just really blooming outside. So I wanted just to celebrate and uh, do something a little bit different today and uh, paint some wildflowers, some scenery, some mountains uh, from the countryside. And I have a large store of uh, photographs that I've taken in the past. So uh, they're all on my laptop. So this is one that I chose for today. Um, I'm afraid there is a bit of a shine on it, but it is... Um, it's of a road, country roadway, and you can see there's those that beautiful Mont Brescia, those wildflowers growing there on one side of the road, and the road sweeping around the bend there. So that's what uh, my little project is for today. So if you like wildflowers, if you like uh, mountains, if you like beautiful skies and roads and country scenery landscape maybe you'd like to join with me today because i'll be giving out a few tips and uh, so please stay with me and watch to the end and let's get started i'm just using some acrylic paint to get this painting started and i've put as you can see my usual i've put a red ground down um so a red background so I'm going to come down along here. This is roughly the shape of the bushes. And then there's a road and it goes that way. Something like that. And then there's some more bushes over here. And that's basically the way it goes. Yes, that's more or less it. And this road kind of sweeps around the bend. One of these little country roads that you see in County Kerry. So I'm putting in my darks here. <laughs> And there's a kind of a, what do you call it, um, a hedgerow there, but there's like a bank here at the side of the road with lots of grasses and, and there does seem to be a bit of a mountain, a hill over there, I'll bring that in. And this is the road, like this, sweeping around the corner. And then over here, We've got all sorts of flowers and bushes, wildflowers. Montbrecia is one of those, uh, the name is one of those wildflowers, really beautiful. So I'm just going to sort of roughly put in my darks here and get rid of some of that red in the background. Yeah, there's a kind of a, a dark corner there. And here we go. We'll come back to those bushes in a while. And those wildflowers. Put in more of this bluey green up here. And I think when I'm looking at it, there's a lot more green and kind of on the this side than on the other then as you go out towards the road and over here as well i'm going to darken this down because there really is quite a lot of dark bushes around here So let's have a think about this road. I'm going to mix up some of that. Again, I'm still with um, 
my acrylic paint and okay we've got this road it's more or less flat it's a modern road but I don't want it to look like a modern tar macadam road I want it to have some character and it's something I want to experiment actually with play around with a little bit is the idea of working with this road. I love paths and I love country paths. It it's really is leading you into the painting, this road. But obviously I want to give it a bit of character, I want to give it a bit of movement. So that's going to be all down to the brushwork. And it seems to be lighter at the edges where the car the cars have them going and a bit darker in the centre, so that's really, doesn't have very much character other than that. But I want it to be very alive, even if it begins to look like a river, that doesn't bother me. I want it to have, to flow. And I'm going to go for my sky now. So. just give it an overall colour I think. And really the focal point of this painting is going to be the flowers. And I've done a lot of work on these flowers in the past. I've, I did an exhibition at the very end of 2018, which is just over a year ago. And uh, it was all really, most of the paintings had wildflowers in them. There were trees and there was a bit of um, a sea because where I'm working, even though you can't see the sea here, but these photographs were taken very close to the sea. But I just got taken with these wildflowers that seem to grow abundantly in these little back roads near the seaside. I do hope I can get there again this year at some stage. Might be late in the year before things open up again. But uh, it really makes you appreciate the places that we used to be able to go to without thinking. But I've got a lot around where I live as well. A lot of um, things to see. Flowers and plants. And nice little walkways around where I live, even though I'm in a city. Okay, I'm just going to put some of these in in the the lighter colour and we'll go over it in green later on but I uh, just want to get in a little bit of I suppose the drawing of this some big leaves around here coming from a briar that's sticking out there and uh, here it's, it's um yeah it looks like you know black berry bushes or briars they're blackberry bushes when they're in season and when they're bearing fruit and when they're not in season I think people call them briars because they look like weeds and they've got thorns on them and uh some big grassy things going out there and going out here
I'm getting a good bit of, I put down a lot of this acrylic paint on my palette for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> so I'm going to keep going because it, uh, with the acrylic because it's, it is good to use it up. painting and uh, because some of these canvases are very porous so that's why I like to put down a good base underneath of paint um, to seal up the canvas Yeah, I'm coming in with a kind of funny little muddy browny colour now. So I may add a bit of yellow into that just to lighten it up. Well, let's add some green in. Green might be a good colour to add into that. See how that comes out. Hmm. Just a very muddy green. But yeah, it'll help me get some coverage in those banks over there. So hmm, it's not a bad old green. There, there's some nice bush there. Hedgerow, whatever it is. And yeah, in here I've got quite a lot of greenery. And I don't want to put a lot of detail into this painting. I want it to be spontaneous. So these marks are going to be more gestural rather than realistic because I want this to be a celebration of the beautiful spring that I'm looking at outside. The beautiful plants that are everywhere. Um, I think I'll go on a walk and take some photos of the cherry blossoms that are all around us at the moment. done with my underpainting but I am going to do one more thing I'm going to add in a very dark blue into that green just to give me a different shade of green just letting you see what I'm doing here if you can see it put a dollop of blue in there and I'm going to mix it up and see if I'm getting a very very different green now. So it's a nice, yeah, nice. Mix all that up. It's giving me a lovely dark green. There's all sorts of colours gone into that now. There's, gone, there's brown and light green and blue, light blue, and now I've just put the dark blue in. So I'm mixing this and I'm going to use it to bring in some of these darks here, these, this, these bushes. Just to give me an alternative darker green. Mm. 
in here by the road, it should be a darker school. And giving the idea of the bank there. And our darks should be in here as well. got a pretty good underpainting down here now. There's actually a lot more detail, quite a bit of detail in it. Now let's put a good seal on that canvas so my oils aren't going to go to waste. They won't be seeping through. They'll sit up on top of those colours very nicely and I can start building up layers of paint. So this is just a gestural painting. I just want to get rid of some of those brush marks. I don't want them to stand up too high because I may change my mind and I may not want to have my underpainting to be very definite because in a minute I'm just going to stand back from this and have a look at it, survey it and see where am I going next and have a closer look at my, my photograph. some of the green there as well just to tie it in together. Okay that's it, that's more or less my underpainting done. I'm going to take a little break and come back in a moment. So I'm back working on my little canvas. Um, a bit bigger actually than what I was working on um, there recently I was working on some very tiny pictures. And you may see this what I'm working from over here as well. This is my my picture, a photograph that I took um, a few years ago in Kerry. Um, I'm just looking at my palette. It's a really messy palette. <laughs> um, so just having a look at deciding what I'm going to what colours I'm going to make up and mix up here. I'm going to put a little bit of pink into the road. I want this to have colour. So it looks quite bright, but I want to give it a bit of vibrancy. I don't want it just to be a dull grey road. And I do see <coughs> some colour in this road. So as I keep working on it, that will that bright pink will die down. But for now it's a good base. 
ready to start with with my oil paints. I'm using the oils at the moment. My favourite medium. And yes, the brighter parts of the road are on the outside where the, where the wheels of the car travel. So they're more around this, this area, right at the edges. some reason my canvas is moving. If I can, for some reason, I don't know why. Yeah, it needs to be anchored back here. That's it, that's better. And now um, I will try and put in my flowers, some of them. So there are lovely purpley wildflowers here, purpley blue, purpley pinky. So I'm going to put some of these in, make some decisions as to where they're going to go. So there was one particularly gorgeous one over here. And there's another one there. Some around here. traces of this purple in under here even though these flowers aren't up here there are echoes of the mauve I'm going to bring it up and bring it into other parts of the painting because I really like it so down here as well I'm going to bring too much of it in and I also need to bring it in over here. I need to have little echoes of it all over the place. And I could bring it into this mountain here in the background. And it would be good to put it along the edge of the road. even more pinky looking purple now and to give some of those a little bit of another one here.
Well, I'm just bringing echoes of it over here across the road. Those neighbours need it. And I'm just playing with that road, really messing with it. The sky, I'm going to have a think about that in a minute, but before we go on to the sky, I am going to look at those Montbritas, those oranges. Will I get away with using the same brush? I hope so. Um, so. My Montbritas. These are the oranges. So I can see one here. up here. I can see quite a large head of Montbritia, a large one down here. And there's one there. And another one there. And the beauty of using the acrylics is that these acrylics are dry. If I had painted this in green oil paint, I wouldn't be able to put these, this orange over it because it would just go all mucky. It would. Because the green would be still wet and when I mix the orange with the green, it would just go dull and brown. So I can get some of this orange, vibrant orange in here over the green. some of that purple on my, on my brush. Um, can I lighten it up a bit? I'm going to wipe my brush now, wipe that orange off it and give my brush a bit of a clean. And I am going to think about the sky. I think I'll use the same brush and bring it into the sky. Or maybe I'll use a rounder brush. I think I'm going to change to a rounder brush. And I'm going to bring some of those purples into the sky that I had already mixed up here. I'm 
the sky is just in my picture, it's just pure white, so I don't need detail in the sky. I can keep it plain. Take it a bit over there. So I've got purple. So I want to have the purple everywhere in the sky. I want to bring in some other colour as well. I think it needs to go back to this colour. This kind of um, turquoisey blue colour would be nice to mix in. You see, when we lighten up the sky that bright, the road needs to have some of that too. Because it, it really is reflecting the sky. It's slightly darker, but... It is reflective. I'm going to make some of that kind of more turquoisey blue. Layering that in the sky, a smidgen of yellow into this blue to make um, turquoisey color there. to give the sky a bit of interest even though it's here it's just dead plain but And perhaps some of that could be brought into the road. Some of the sky reflection. again you know we brighten up that sky a little
where are we going next? I think these, um, these black currant briars that are flowering could be nice in this pale blue. They're a, a, some sort of a shade of white and off-white, but that colour works. It would reflect a bit of the sky as well. Some of them are just like little buds, and then there's a few that are open. something up here again but I think it's honeysuckle but I'm gonna put it in and this and I'll give it a little touch of yellow as we go on and this sky comes down into these bushes and there are bits of the sky in under I'm carving into the bushes with the sky. Yeah, I need to do that. still using this kind of biggish brush. It's not huge, but I will be going down in size soon as I go on. Um, I think it's time to go back to the greenery. I'm going to take slightly smaller brush and start working into some of that greenery. And I'm going to start with the darks. 